The master bathroom for me is like a hideaway. Uh, the way it's been arranged in the house, it's a place where you can be secluded. And yet, when you're in there, you don't want to feel secluded. So the idea for the openness are the, the windows that were put in there, but also the walls that are on the hallway are transparent, so light comes through them. We wanted to continue that light coming through all the way through the room, transparent. Transparency was what it was all about for us. So that you could look at the views, feel the light, feel the breeze even if you open the door and open the windows, and feel like you're outside. I mean, you really could feel like you're outside in that room. And the idea for this room was to be completely soothing, as in contrast to the spa bath. This room, you wake up in the morning, you don't necessarily want to be jolted awake. <laughs> or if, when you come home at night, maybe you want to take a bath or maybe you want a gentle spray. And we have the rain, rain head shower in there. So you, you could feel like you could just, just sit there and relax a little bit. This room also falls in uh, with the rest of the house in that it has some technological aspects to it that you don't normally see. The fact that we have the DTV that makes uh, all of your fixtures controllable with the touch of a finger. It'll, it has a memory so that you can remember what temperature you like, how you like the, the pressure, all these kinds of things uh, for your water supply. So I especially like the water tiles and the, for the fact that they were, I, I like the design of them. The fact that they were angular, you know, the square, the perfect square. And then of course they're just adjustable and then you can have a light spray or a little bit uh, harder spray, but they're not the hard spray that we had on the spa bath. It can be relaxing. Again, this was our whole idea for this bathroom, was for it to be a relaxing bath. 